Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com. I'm here today with your 14th Java tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at do while loops. So, a while a do while loop is really similar to a regular while loop. The main difference is that in a do while loop, whatever code you would normally run when the loop runs runs at least one time. In a while loop, on the other hand, if your condition isn't or your condition is false or it's not met, your code won't run. In a do-while loop, it runs at least one time before it checks to see if the condition is met or not. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys that and explain it a little more. So what I've got on my screen here is a normal while loop. I've just got an integer variable I've named i, which is storing our counter and it's starting at 1. So I've just got while i is less than or equal to 5, print out the value of i, and increase the value by 1 so our loop doesn't run forever. So let's go ahead and run this and kind of see what we get here. Alright, so we got what we expected. Basically, print it out 1 through 5. Pretty normal. It's what we've seen um, loops do before. It makes sense. But what happens here if we create, increase our counter to 6? So what we do when we do that, what it does is makes our condition false. So i less than equal 6. Well, i is, I'm sorry, less than equal to 5. Well, i is 6, so this is false. So this doesn't run. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see if that happens. There we go. No output on the screen. So when the condition's not met, none of the code runs. Let's go ahead and look at a do while loop now so I can kind of show you the differences in that. And we'll go ahead and change our index back to 1 here and we'll create ourselves a do while loop. So the syntax for a do while loop is just the word do, open closing braces, and this is what, what um, in between here is what's going to happen whenever your code runs. So let's do the same thing. We'll just print out the value of i to our user every time it runs. And then we'll go ahead and do i++ so that we can inca increase our counter, that way it doesn't run forever. And then down here is we do our condition statement with a while while condition statement. So we'll do the same one, while i is less than or equal to 5. So what we've got now is it says do this while this is true. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Alright, so we got the same output that we got whenever we did our normal while loop. So the difference here is that if, when with our normal while loop, when we change this to 6, basically making this condition statement false, our loop didn't run. Well, let's go ahead and do it with the, while, uh, the do while loop here and see what happens. It printed out 6. So like I said, the reason for that is in a do while loop, this code is always run at least the first time. So Java comes through, it does this right here, and then it checks if this condition is true to know whether it should run again or not, but it always runs that first time. So I hope that makes sense. That's pretty much it for the do while loop. Um, it's kind of a short tutorial just because there's kind of very few instances where a do while loop really makes sense. You can do almost anything with a for loop or a while loop that you can do with a do while loop where you'd really run into um, instances that you would want to use this is you come across things like I said when you need that code to run at least one time they're kind of far and few between when you find those instances but when you do find them it's really handy and sometimes it can even make your code a little bit easier to read and understand so this is one of those things to get a good handle on and have it kind of in your bag of tricks if you ever come across something where you need to use it so if you like the tutorial make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time